Oh, yes. 23 years ago today, Nirvana releases Nevermind. Big fan of Nirvana still to this day. You? Absolutely. Oh, good for you, Jim Florentine, who's in studio today. We literally just um, got the food drop. This one in, in utero. Yeah. Great records. I love Unplugged the, the most, though. Unplugged is great, too. Uh, I wasn't a big fan of Bleach. No. It was I, good, but not great. I don't I don't know uh, enough about Bleach. I just a lot don't. more punk. Uh, right. You know, there's more, more punk on it than, uh, which I like punk rock, but I don't know, just, I don't this know. This one really. Uh, you know, it smells like Teen Spirit? Something in the Way is unbelievable. I love that record. song. Oh, man. I love that song. And Penn Royalty on Indian. Penn Royalty. Absolutely. You like this, right, Jimmy? Yeah. All right. A lot of people mad. It's not called Frisbee golf. It's called disc golf. They're really mad. When I was growing up, it was absolutely called Frisbee golf. I don't, they we even had that growing up. I don't even remember. Yeah, that. but it was more primitive. Now, I mean, they they really set up actual courses and parks, and and it's more like a chain link kind of basket, I guess, that you got to throw it into. Yeah, we used to make up our own crap. There's a garbage pail over there. Let's you know, throw it toward the gar- garbage pail, and then you would, then whoever won the hole would pick the next fucking target, whether it's a tree or some dumb thing, you know, things like that. But uh, who's this? Hello. This is Sean. Hi, Sean. Hey, Sean. I don't know who's... They don't have the phone's uh, screen, yeah. so sorry. Uh, what's up, Sean? Well, you know what? That, that brings me to my second point that I wanted to talk about. Your show deserves a lot more support than you guys get, and you should have a working phone system, so fuck the management. Thank you. Wow. That's uh, pretty sweet. Thank I you. I like that. I wish Thanks my agent that. had that passion. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, do you play well, disc golf? As a, you know, as a routine hobby, yeah, when I can get out and, you know, away from things, sure. But you don't take it seriously, right? No, you know, when you go out to the golf course, you, you know, you take it very seriously. You don't pick up your golf ball, all that bullshit. But when you play disc golf, you know, it's a relaxing thing. You're not anal about all the rules. And it's not so much as one Frisbee either. You, you know, there's a lot of uh, things about the game that make it interesting. Like what? Yeah. Well, you have your bag, you have your drivers, your mid-range uh, discs, you have your uh, putters, and you you know you you go out there and, and you look at the course. You're making this up. Your, You're making this up. Um, uh, go to pdga.com. I won't do that. Right, go to YouTube. Look up some of the professionals. They will think they will think those PDGA. It's a pretty dumb game, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Norton is quick. It'll be a lovely live soon. Um, so the the game itself has changed where there's different sized discs and stuff? Absolutely. And there's different weights. They're all designed differently. So if you're a right-handed thrower, if you have a sidearm throw, if you have a, a left-handed, you know, it all depends on, on how you want to approach the basket from where you're teeing off from. That I have actually heard of. No idea. I've heard of that lefty-righty thing. We would just... No, yeah. I haven't. We would just go. You got a frisbee? Yeah. All right. Let's go. Throw it at some shit. Just throw it. I never. I what, never what, knew. I never heard of this. And what do you mean putters? What's What do you mean by putters in disc golf? So you have your heavier drivers that you know, if you throw them as hard as you can, and someone goes to catch it the wrong way, you could break your fingers. Oh you know, no! Really hurt you. Why are you trying to catch the? Got, well, they're they're very. The, the discs are designed to to fly in a certain way, and the, and the drivers are so heavy rimmed that you know if you catch it the wrong way, you'll you'll get hurt. But you have your putters, for instance, they'll sail a little bit easier so you can have a softer throw. Because it's not just going to hit the chains and fall into the basket. You have to have it hit just right. <laughs> Fourteen's head is spinning. When, when you were saying putters and drivers, I was thinking, you know, traditionally golf. But you're talking the discs. Like a lighter disc would be called a putter. Hey, well, it's not so much the weight. It's um, it's also the, the design of the disc itself and the way it flies. I... So you bring like eight or eight, eight different weighing frisbees to this game. Discs, this. Yeah, either frisbees or discs, but don't call it froth because that shit just makes me sick. It sounds disgusting. Oh, that's your line. No, that's good. <laughs> okay. I'm glad that he ate Fair that enough. Too. Fair enough. We could agree on that. Thank you, sir. I, I had no idea that the the sport became so complicated with different discs. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. 
you know, you got your dog leg forces and, and stuff. You got to, you know, sink the disc in a different direction. And, you know, you have to pull out a different disc for every hole sometimes. I think this show needs to, to, to bond a little bit. So why don't we go and try it out? I'd rather suck each other's dicks on the console. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. Why not? Get over with. <laughs> You know we're heading that way anyway. Absolutely. Might as well do it today, right? Please, you're in better shape than you have been in years. How do I resist? <laughs> oh, Would you rather get the new series. BlackBerry passport? Can I have another coffee, please, sweetie? Uh, there you go. Let me say hi to Jimmy in uh, Chicago. <laughs> Jimmy. Hey, how are you guys? You actually build courses for disc golf. <laughs> oh. Yes, I actually, yeah, I built a couple in uh, Illinois. Uh, the Oaks Disc Golf Course, which is in uh, Mokina, off of Laporte Road. Don't you just go, I don't know, put a basket over there. Yeah. Ah, put a basket around that tree. And Where's your driver disc? Can I borrow your driver disc? <laughs> I left mine at home. <laughs> yeah, we had, uh, we had, uh, uh, Phil and, uh, Gary come out and they, um, they seen it was 36 and a half acres and they got the idea to put it in. The park district did. So, uh, when I heard about it, I totally volunteered. I was like, I'm here till it's finished. And we did it in four and a half months. Uh, me, Steve, and Roy. Anyway. Uh, we worked every day. The only day I didn't take I, that I took off was Thanksgiving, and that was it. But I was there. I was working an afternoon. What movie? Job. What movie is this? Or is this a, uh, a Seinfeld reference, or from a film? Say that again. Is this from Seinfeld or a film? Is this from Seinfeld? I don't know. Wait, you don't believe that he actually builds disc golf courses? Not mentioning all those yeah, dumb yeah. names. Me, Roy. We took off on Thanksgiving. What are you talking about? Oh yes, well uh, I said as long as you guys don't charge anybody to play, I, you know I I volunteer myself no problem, you know I got it I'm on it, and uh, we pulled it off and uh, wait you're we, some kind uh, of ask got, you're an expert at this, that? you're an expert at uh, building absolutely. these courses, but well, what is it yeah. why does it take you know, four and a half months to put up a few baskets? <laughs> well it wasn't just that we had multiple tees red whites and blues you know uh, for different types of shots for the lady tees you know your mid. You know, and uh, I had no so idea. That, uh, everybody had a fair shake at it, and it became one of the best golf courses in uh, Illinois. We had probably well over on December fourteenth uh, when we finished it. We had probably over a hundred people there to play. Oh my god! Literally, and it, it was snowing outside. Oh my god! Even the last ball in. Wow. Uh, oh, boy. I, 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 I don't yeah, I can reach. I could probably reach 400 feet with the light 151 gram. Uh, Jesus. Driver. Whoa. Yeah. I had no that idea this can, uh, got so complicated. One of the guys that was helping me build the course yeah. actually got uh, what was his name? an age that was like over 374 feet. Was that Roy? That was, very was that Roy or the other guy? Oh, Mark. Yes, it was Roy, yes. It had to be Roy. Of course it was Roy. Uh, no, 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 no. I take it back. It was Steve. You, you sure it was Steve and not Roy? No, 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 no. You sure it was Steve and not Roy? No, it was Steve. Because we all know Roy can make that shot. Absolutely. We've all seen it. Did, yeah. Did Steve and Roy take uh, off on Thanksgiving, too, or did they work that day? No, uh, they they all uh, took that day off, yeah. They did? Absolutely. Yes, they did. They felt like they earned that day off, I, I guess. I couldn't get out of it because my wife was just... Uh, I hear you, yeah, the wife. The old ball and chain. I'll be thankful this Thanksgiving for everything but phones. <laughs> <laughs> right now. <laughs> I, I agree with that statement. <laughs> all right, Jimmy. Come on. The king of well, building the... And I hope the you disc guys golf courses. You guys got to check it out. It's free. Go ahead and play. Once you start, you're addicted. I'm telling you. Mm, I'm sure it's fun. All right. Thank it's you. Great health. Yes, it's excellent. You got to try cool. it. All right. I, I just had no idea it, it got that complicated. It looks like fun. Aim at a hornet's nest. <laughs> Throw your disc at a hornet's nest. That would make it fun. Yeah. And your other friend has to stand under it. <laughs> Hang some hornet nests around the course. Then I would probably play with my friends. Yeah. And laugh hysterically as they're running for their lives. Japanese hornets. Japanese Those hornets would be preferable. Giant five-inch monsters. Yeah. All right, this leads to the orgasm guy. I apologize. We're yeah. just wasting time. No, that's all right. So yesterday we talked about the guy that has some rare, rare uh, condition. He threw out his back, and somehow that made him start orgasming him all the time, up to 100 times a day. And he says it really, really fucking sucks. <laughs> And it, and it just happens uh, as he's trying to do regular things. Like now, the, why would he release this video? Uh, I don't Does know. Does he think that no one, that people don't believe him, so he had to put this out? Part of me thinks it's fake. Yeah. Right. That's why it's a news thing. So what? There like it is. It's, it's a oh, so like a new uh, okay, like Channel Eleven went down or whatever. Or it was. Yeah. Can I got the same thing. You do? Fuck yeah. What happened? I'm coming. It just happened. Yep. And how many times a day does that happen? A thousand. 
Oh. Why? <laughs> don't do it a thousand times <laughs> today, please. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> I beg you, please. Uh, we got to get Dr. Steve on the phone. I want to know. About I'm this. coming. <laughs> it happened again. Yeah. So we only have 998 to go. You bet you. <laughs> <laughs> you bet you. All right. So you think this guy's real? I haven't seen the video. I, I, it seems. Who's got the video? No, I mean, who did it? Oh, um. Is it a part of a documentary? Is it, it was on Funny or Die did it? Is it on CNN? <laughs> right. BTV. All right. I don't know. BTV. This guy's a fake. What's, what's BTV? Barcroft. Sam. What does that mean? I think it's fake. You know, I, I believe part of it, because I've heard of this medically, these weird things, but he's overacting in this video, and he's also saying things that don't make sense, like 150 people stared at me in the supermarket. Right, I don't believe just, it. No, because if you knew this was going to happen all the time, you would probably... You he know, wouldn't go to the supermarket. No. He'd send his wife to go. Yeah. Or you would just make sure you're in the part of the supermarket where 150 people aren't going to notice. There's never 150 people in a supermarket. Never, and they never no. all stare at one thing. No, no. Everybody's someone, doing their own business, looking for their own shit. Right. Marion Cabretti couldn't get that many people to look at him in the supermarket. <laughs> uh, let's see the video. This is the video that has been put out for your viewing pleasure. It's like Jim Gaffigan. We'll, uh, <laughs> we'll link to this video on our Facebook and, our, and on our Twitter. Yeah, Barcroft TV, what is that? I don't know. That that's, makes it very suspicious as well. Uh, let's push play here there, Sammy. Yeah, sweetie. Shame. Make it big. This is bullshit. Oh, God. He's falling down, oh. isn't he? Oh. <laughs> Father of two, Dale Decker, suffers from a rare and seemingly incurable condition that leads to him suffering up to 100 unwanted orgasms a day. There's nothing pleasurable about it because even though it might physically feel good, the whole time inside your mind, you're completely disgusted by what's going on. And depending on where you're at, if you're in public, if you're in front of kids, if you're around strangers, yeah. I mean, it, it can make a person break. They're really showing fast. him and his wife on the park bench talking. The 37-year-old is the first man to ever speak publicly about the condition. It's bullshit. It's, it's bullshit. Persistent sexual... It's bullshit. Yeah. yeah bullshit. Why didn't he have an orgasm while they were talking to it's him? It's bullshit. I mean, he doesn't have one every single second. It's but bullshit. A hundred a day, the Up odds to. are good. It's nonsense. Yeah. This I don't, is utter I don't, nonsense. I don't believe any of this. Nope. Right, so if he's up for 16 hours a day, 100. That's like, what? He's about seven, seven or eight about an seven, hour. Six, six-ish an hour. So he's getting one every nine minutes, basically. One like every up. nine to ten minutes, yeah, somewhere around there. There's no way. No, it's bullshit. It's nonsense. He's overacting. Oh, God. I come once a day and my cums aren't that good. A hundred a day, you'd get used to it. And by the hundredth, you're not doing that. No. 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 I didn't and believe... It he's, he's acting like it hurts Yeah. when he comes. Right. Such garbage. Let's get, Well, let's see, though. Let's try to keep an open mind. Okay. Arousal syndrome, or PSAS. And he says it's ruining his life. Oh, stinks. When you're on your knees at your father's funeral, at his casket, and you're saying goodbye to him, and then you have nine orgasms right there... The whole family is standing behind you. Just makes me never want to have him. I hate this guy and I hate this video. video. But you know what? You just keep on coming. Ugh. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't believe this. Do you believe this, Sam? He's no. lying completely. I don't it's believe nonsense. it. I don't think an orgasm could be that painful. No, he looks like he's being shot. Right. The funeral story is this. Big That's ridiculous. Suspicious. That's suspicious. The fucking nine orgasms, and then the fucking uh, the the the, the uh, supermarket thing. It's just shit. I'm, I'm kind of disappointed. Yeah, I, I we, when we read it in the prep sheet, it was like, all right, this guy's got a rare thing. Right. Maybe he's shuddering a little bit. We're gonna talk Garbage. to Doctor Steve in a minute, but I want to get to and, the uh, end of this Bar video Craft first. TV is you know it's, it's on their YouTube channel. It's already had over seven hundred thousand hits. Yeah, sure. Right. So they're all. It's probably his buddies. Let's do this. We're gonna get yeah. like they're gonna have two million hits by the end of the day. Oh, easily. All right, keep going. Dale, from Wisconsin in America, was enjoying his suburban life in 2012 when he slipped a disc in his back while getting out of a chair, the triggering the fake. condition for unknown reasons. British. They put me in the back of the ambulance to take me to the hospital. 
And on the way there, I had my first five orgasms, and they've never stopped. <laughs> Dale has been unable to work since the accident and is mostly housebound through fear of experiencing an episode in public. But he enjoys playing frisbee golf with his closest <laughs> friends. <laughs> there it is. It is frisbee golf. <laughs> Why is everyone getting mad at me? It's frisbee golf. It's disc golf. He's walking up to the course and he's bending oh, over because he's God. having another orgasm. He's overacting. Yeah. Well, they happen. He's in baby oh, pose. He looks like me and Voss doing Shakespeare. They happen fucking terrible this guy. They happen when I'm asleep. They happen in the shower. But they're not mm -hmm. happening as you talk to me. I just right. have nine reason. rather powerful orgasmic nice. sensations flow through my entire body and now it feels like every muscle from here to about here is doing this from his chest to his knees orgasm while the condition is so rare most doctors can't even diagnose it Ugh. it is widely acknowledged by specialists in the field PSAS is a condition of unrelenting genital arousal and spasms which is not necessarily sexual. She could cure you. Um, and she sure could. They have no idea like Warren Haynes, to happen, ugly woman. How often. I bet you I bet you didn't come in their office when he was with her. <laughs> no. Why is a gynecologist I, uh, what is she, I don't know. commenting on this? Because they all want a little FaceTime. Well, she's not even a gynecologist. She is a beast. Who that says it said she... it, it, it said underneath. She's a gynecologist. Who could say it? Sure. I mean, if they could... Right. No, this has to be... They're on her oath. Mm. Does she have wrestling figures on her desk behind her? What, what is that on the right side? Yeah, it's, it's fucking shot in Sam's house. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Keep going. Intense suffering. And this suffering is felt in Dale's home life, where wife April struggles to cope with the situation. We tend to have arguments about stuff that really shouldn't be argued about. Oh, we already struggle right now. We can't work and help supply, so I feel str stressed from that. And PSAS is even affecting Dale's relationship with his the children, beach. Christian and Tatum. They don't have a shitty beach. relationship. Yeah, he doesn't beach. go to like practices because he feels embarrassed and kids don't know oh, no. about his condition. So the kids don't quite understand why Dale won't be there. The threat of a spontaneous orgasm. If he has time to walk the beach with his wife, he has time to go to his kid's game. You know how long it takes to set up these shots? Exactly. Different locations. He's on the Frisbee course. Right. The beach. It's nonsense. Why what? wouldn't he be collapsing on the beach as he's getting the nice, you know, uh, video of him and his wife walking? It's Why wouldn't they the play porno line? music in the background instead of goofy <laughs> shit? Yeah. Right. That would be better. That terrible, thin-voiced announcer. He's got horrible hair, by the way. <laughs> he's <laughs> awful. He's got the worst hair he's ever. He's terrible. <laughs> How many times do you think he came when he was sitting in the hair salon getting his right. blonde highlights in his hair? It's fucking terrible. It's horrendous. Now he's he's, uh, he's leaning over a rail, like looking and reflecting on he's his life. Looking at the ocean. Looking at the water. Because he's come that much in some, two weeks. Some horrible <laughs> lake. He's a lazy bum that doesn't want to work. Yeah. It's just a goof video, that's all. Keep going. ...isn't the only thing that leaves Dale afraid to leave home. Sometimes I have an erection for three, four hours at a time. Off and on, they just come and go, like... 30, 40 a day. He's looking really wrongly at the water with. again. Enough with the water. It's possible to have sex with my wife. We don't very often because it becomes frustrating. Because for me, there's no end. Plus, she's a three. To help, <laughs> in London to see if she can shed a light. Oh, another dishes. pig! I know. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. destroying every part of everything in my life. It's when it comes another to pig. sexual issues, people get very. Mm. He's overacting again. <laughs> oh. Go ahead. Now he's walking around. He's walking it off. Oh. Leaving her office. Is she some kind I've of psychologist? Seen anything like that Sex before. therapist. Sex therapist. She doesn't believe it. There are no words. Oh. She doesn't believe it. There are words. It's hard to Bullshit. know if it's, if it's real. It's not it real. It makes me want to find him some relief. I told you. She doesn't believe it. Otherwise, this is that. Horrible way for him to have to live. Shut up, fatso. <laughs> but even in the face of such things, she gets turned on. There is hope for Dale's future. Com coming on I didn't our know she's uh, very brave yeah. of Dale to come out and publicly talk about it. Is it? He's suffering. 
But there is help for him. There are doctors that can help him. So um, I hope that he's going to move help. into his house so he never orgasms <laughs> again. The main problem is my fucking dry, dry thin hair. That it's a medical condition. <laughs> fucking it's awful hairdo. It's not. <laughs> Keep her wig. <laughs> fucking ogre. She's really terrible. <laughs> I'm going to be his new roommate. She's like Jeffrey Tambor in Transparent. <laughs> to guarantee he never gets another erection. She is brutal. She is horrendous. No medical problem. I just try to take one day at a time. Hopefully someday, someday, buddy will come up with something. Because I would like to get back to my normal life one day. And get back to being the person I'm supposed to be into instead of the person this has turned me into. <laughs> It's going to come out that this is bullshit. Oh, I hate this more than ISIS footage. I've never <laughs> hated anything more than this video. It's just bullshit. Yeah, it's 100% fake. Uh, let me say hi to Dr. Steve. Yeah, it's called uh, lower back fibrosis. Dr. Steve. Yes. Yes, yes. Did you listen to that video? I did. Okay, what do you think? What's your, what's your gut telling you? Well, I mean, I'm just trying to imagine this guy playing frisbee golf while he's ejaculating all over the place. I mean, it's just... Uh, <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> yeah. He's coming so much he's making new legs or something. <laughs> <laughs> there there is have... such a thing called persistent genital arousal syndrome, and it's exceedingly rare. It's caused, they think, by... Babysitting? <laughs> 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 it's, uh, it's caused by entrapment of a nerve called the pudendal nerve, at least that's the hypothesis, and that's the nerve that goes to the junk. And um, these people will have persistent erections. They can't. And look, the ejaculatory mechanism has lots of little parts that go with it, and one of them is neurologic. And, you, you know, when you get that feeling of sort of however you describe it, you know, that that warm feeling that feels sort of like a sneeze that runs up and down your spine. The orgasm? Yeah. I, 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 my best way to describe it is like it feels like you're taking a shit out of your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it's bad. Uh, yeah, that so, too. Um, that, but that's just purely neurologic, and you could have that separated from the ejaculatory mechanism and all that stuff. So you could have the sensation of having an orgasm over and over again and just being triggered. And so it's possible. This one sounds a little uh, suspect, but it, if, if he's real, it's a very extreme and rare condition. That it's he utter malarkey. He's but, bent over, going through the whole... I don't come that good ever. I've never come as good as he does once on a fucking Frisbee course. Right, right. Right. Yeah, was, no. and why, would, would, why would they uh, want it? You know, they should have said, take your underpants off. Let's exactly. see what's going on in there. Put a plate out so yeah. we can see how much cum you're shooting out. <laughs> yes. Get a dish. Well, and why doesn't he look yeah, dehydrated? If you're that much, you're not a <laughs> Right. Because you're going to run out of fluid. After fluid, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah how, uh, Dr. Uh, Steve, how, ma how many loads before he runs out of fluid? Oh, two or three, really. Those seminal vesicles. You know, don't carry that much fluid in them. They, you know, there's, so, uh, yeah. you know, the average ejaculation is three to five mLs, which is just Fuck yeah. under a teaspoon. Under a what? So, a teaspoon. Under a teaspoon. Under a teaspoon. I do more than that. So by th the third yeah, well, orgasm, I'm saying the average half the people will have more than that, but it's. Um, yeah, after three or four of those, I mean, you've depleted your supply. You've got to regenerate it. That's why we have this. So, so are you at least getting a dropout by your third or fourth yeah. orgasm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a couple drops, maybe. When do you start, you know, coughing up dust from your penis? <laughs> yeah. How many in? Five, six? It's a good question. It's not been very well studied, to be honest with you. No. When you when no, you no. yes, 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 yes. I come so much I should be a rain cloud or something. <laughs> 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 Generals are right. Right. So, so now they could give this guy Prozac. I'm sure they've tried it. They haven't. He's a fake. He's a bum. Right, 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 right. right. Yeah. Well, they should give him a fucking hairpiece. They assume that he's real. Those are the things that they could do. Is they, you know, Prozac is known to delay ejaculation, and that might help. Uh, the other thing is they could go in 
and ligate the pedendal nerve. Now, that would make it impossible for him to ever have intercourse normally again, oh, but, it, no. but it stopped to this stuff. Your pedendal uh, nerve being ligated? Who wants that? Oh, God. A pedendal <laughs> nerve ligation. <laughs> oh, my God. Great name for a movie. Yeah. <laughs> the great band name. Yeah, pedendal anyway. nerve ligation. This, <laughs> this guy's got shitty hair with shitty highlights, too. That's terrible. That's suspect. Yeah. Yeah, don't you have to sit in the chair for a long time to get those highlights put in? I mean, how many times is he? Oh, you're ripping off Sam now. Ooh. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't... Is that right? Ooh. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, they should have talked to the hairdresser. Yeah, well, while yeah, he's putting the highlights, it? he had 20 of these dumb things. Yeah, what's going on there? Uh, what anyway. is going on there? And then they were able to get video of him walking down the beach with his wife, you know, arm in arm. And then they had him walking back, which means he had no orgasm because she would have been pissed on the walk back. Yeah. yeah, yeah. His wife seemed like a very genuine woman, she, weeping at their arguments. Right. Ugh. There's obviously some psychological issues going on with this guy, and that's his excuse. Sure. Or the I, whole I, thing I, is I a bunch of. I think that's a reasonable fakes. hypothesis. I don't have. Uh, any yeah. I, th I think the whole thing is just made up to make a viral video. Is that absolutely? Yep. We'll find out. Yeah, yep. we'll find out in a couple of days. We've been pawned or pwned, whatever it's called. <laughs> I thought this one was real and. Because I think the three-breasted broad is fake. Yeah. That came out yesterday as well. Real. You're starting okay, to I, say she's real. It's been going back and forth real. for the last couple of days. They said she's it was real. Not, then they said it was she, fake. Now she's not. Oh, someone said it was fake because uh, she, she's not the first one that's done that. Oh. I've seen other people that have gotten a third breast implanted. I knew a girl that did that. Yeah. Fuck the it's, tits. <laughs> it's just... Um, you know, they put these tissue expanders uh, between the breasts, and basically what those are are their balloons that you can fill up with um, uh, water over time, and you pump in more and more and more, and it stretches the skin, and then you can insert an implant in there. And uh, it's just really, um, it's not a breast. It's just a big round mass of, of tissue with silicone underneath it. That's all I've been calling them my whole life. <laughs> Is there a nipple on it, too? Yeah, well, they can make a nipple. They could tattoo a nipple on, or they could create... Uh, who wants to suck on a tattooed nipple? Exactly. <laughs> Isn't there a better way? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, no. It's, Can't you twist the skin, at least? <laughs> yeah, make it red. It really <laughs> just a giant skin tag. That's all it is. Oh, <laughs> Uh, there's no reason why that. I mean, I mean, she may be fake, but there's no reason that you couldn't do that. Oh, let me see the picture, Sam. I haven't seen the photo. Uh, she's got three breasts, all right, with some weird, like three. I don't know what would you call that, like a bikini, but there's a third. yeah, tri bra. Oh, that's great, a nice a smell in between there. Bra, I mean, tri bra. I don't know. Terrible. I don't know. Fucking no She's hips there. on her. She has square boy hips. Yeah, she should have fixed well, her hips. Well, look at it. She has two pretty nice tits and then this sort of just weird thing in the middle that is tit-shaped, but it's... it's That's her head, Dr. Steve. <laughs> 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 She's a goofball. <laughs> All right, we're moving on from orgasm guy. So you, you're calling bullshit on that? I think he's full of bunk. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. All right. Thank you, Dr. Steve. I mean, Steve. I... It's uh, when it, if I get a call on my show that's bullshit, I always try to answer it seriously anyway because there's always information you can get out. So that there is this this thing called um, uh, you know the arous general persistent arousal syndrome, mm. and he may have it, he may not. Hell, who knows if he's real or not? But it is it is a real syndrome, and it's very rare. But that makes you actually have the orgasm, or just kind of keeps you. I can. They, they can have persistent erections. They can have, uh, uh, you know, the whole spectrum of the sexual response, including frequent uh, the uh, orgasms. All right. So, I mean, it is a real syndrome. Now, whether this guy has it or not, I mean, the whole Frisbee golf thing kind of made me think this is bullshit. Yeah, of course. And then he, he, he collapses and then goes into child pose. And what, he's making cumsies? Yeah. That's terrible. Or he's making cumsies? <laughs> terrible. <laughs> As he plays it's frisbee terrible. golf. Yeah, it's a really, it's an enragingly bad video. It upset me. <laughs> I think they filmed it. Enraging. Uh, what? Oh, okay. Even if it's real, it's enraging. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. 
All right. What what do we got right. on the th- uh, the three breasted broad? What's the latest on that, Sammy? She's 21 years old, huh? Three breasted Florida woman, Jasmine uh, Trideville, oh, wow. insists third boob From is real. Man to Jasmine, <laughs> ah. it comes out. <laughs> but police report shows she once lost uh, pros- prosthesis. 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 Sorry, sorry. A 21 year old Florida woman who claims she has plastic surgery to place a third boob on a rack claims she's uh, no hoax. She's not a hoaxer. Uh, but an incident report filled with the Tampa International Airport Police Department shows that she was carrying a three-breast prosthesis in luggage stolen from her in early September. Why would she? Why would she put that in the report? If you're trying to pass off that you have three tits, why would you put it in? They stole my fake tit. Just get another right. one. What's a three-breast prosthesis? It's a prosthetic that would make it look like you have three breasts. Three tits, yeah. So the whole thing. That'd be th- like a chest plate. But you know that the picture I've seen of her. Yeah. You know, where would the scene be? Well, it could be around her back, or it could just be the actual. It could just be the actual strap of the uh, the item she's wearing. The the uh, oh, right. bra. And with Photoshop, fuck you. Can yeah, she says it's not fake. She's very mad at all the news reports saying it's fake. I had the procedure done. If people don't believe it, that's up to them. How about you show a picture of you naked with your three fat yeah, tits hanging a, out? A naked video. Yeah, jumping up and down. Movie. Jumping up and down to a Spike Lee movie. The publicity-hungry Jasmine, who hopes to land a show on MTV, told the British newspaper that a film crew recorded her $20,000 procedure. Okay. Okay, well. Uh, The massage therapist claims to have seen at least 50 doctors before finding one who would perform the procedure. Wow. How do you get that done, being a doctor? Yeah. Doesn't that fuck up your whole career? No, I'm not. Well, there's some people who will do stuff. Plastic surgery, uh, I guess. Make a name for themselves, but... There are, uh, uh, like I said, I've seen other people that had a third breast plate before. Why? Why are they doing that? Well, th- like there, one of them was a stripper, and she said she made extra money because people wanted to come see her oh, because yuck. it was a novelty. Right. And and you could always have it removed later, and you would end up just with a little scar there. What do you mean a little scar? Wouldn't that be a horrendous scar? No, a good plastic surgeon. I mean, look at how... Her third breast is you don't see a bunch of scar tissue that the scarring is going to be underneath it. Uh, you know, a good plastic surgeon could hide that pretty well. That's I mean, she disgusting. Could have a, it really is. It's gross. That wouldn't necessarily be a big one. She plans to release the video on my reality TV show, she says, and I don't really uh-huh. care what people think or say about me, she told the son. I know what I've done. As I say, this is not a fake or a hoax. She's a three titted idiot if she had a fake tit put on. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Well, people want their fame. She figured out how to, you know, get some fame. Well, Jim, she's a massage therapist. What if you were getting a massage from her and she took her top off and there was three tits there? I'd be fucking disgusted if, if she took over and there was a sleaze stack head in between her fucking tits. I don't want to fucking freak. Oh, three of I like clits. I don't want to look. My back has got 30 clits on them. <laughs> would you, let, you, jerk you, would you no. let her jerk you off, though? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't even pause. <laughs> well, you can uh, Google what tattooed nipples or, artif- or uh, you know, uh, artificially made nipples for breast reconstruction look like, and uh, you would really be able to tell the difference. Sam could. But what, what, But do they twist the skin to make it, you know, look more like an actual nipple? You can do that. Uh, what they'll do is they'll do sort of a cross-shaped incision, and then the way they sew it up will cause the uh, tissue when it heals to protrude and look like an actual nipple. Nice, right? Mm, and then you can nice. tattoo the areola around. Nice. It. What kind of areola would you tattoo? <laughs> Fat Let's one. get into this a little bit. I would go for a, a nice fade. No, a big dark one. You would go yeah. with a big dark one? Yeah. Like pepperoni. Really? You go yeah, that way, too? Yeah, pepperoni pizza, I, yeah. I like the, the, the fade. Giant nice pepperoni. fade out. Cone tits. Really? Big fucking cone tits. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of tattoo would you do, uh, Dr. Steve? Which, which one? Well, um, yeah, I like the, the sort of smaller fade. I had a girlfriend once that was blonde, and she didn't have any areolas at all, and it was very strange. It is weird. I uh, was with a Jewish girl, same thing. I, it, it was the exact same color of the rest of her breast. It was the right, strangest right. thing ever. 
It was, right. it was almost non-existent. It's so it was really kind of distracting, and uh, even you know, with my eyes closed, I knew it was like that. I don't know why that it weirded me out a little bit. It's, it's like licking a fucking uh, an upside down bowl with a nipple. There's no fucking. <laughs> I like a nice big dark. Like, you like a nice Abu and dark Jamal nipple, yeah. Really a nice meaty areola. A nice me exactly a fat nipple and a meaty areola with some little bumps on it. You know. Yeah. How do you make those little bumps, too, yeah. Doctor Steve? Yeah, those are um, those are just little ducks. That's you know the milk doesn't just come out of the uh, the. Uh, you, why, why, why it you also to, will come out of those ducks as well. We, we, why are you making it clinical? Ducks. <laughs> We're keeping it sexy. I'm saying if you're going to rebuild that whole area, how do you make the bump? Oh, 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 oh ducks. Sorry, I, oh, he's talking about milk being released. Yeah. <laughs> what the well, fuck's wrong with you? Put your for. cock between I mean, my ducks. We're trying to get we, hard here, you fuck. <laughs> we, <laughs> we forget what these. Uh, appendages are for, and uh, you know we think they're just for our pleasure, but they're really for feeding. Right, good for you. Good jobs. Go talk to your doctor friends about that. We're being <laughs> men right now. How do you make the bumps? We understand the tattooing. We understand the the cross uh, cut to make the nipple pop out. How do you make the bumps? Yeah, there'd be a way to do it. I guess you could inject uh, filler into those areas and, and make them a little bumpy, I guess, if you really wanted to do that. I'm uh, be good to have a plastic surgeon come on. How big would you make your bumps? <laughs> now, there is a, there's a guy uh, in Atlanta that I have a, there's a woman on my show that um, is a chiropractor, and she had stage four breast cancer and had reconstructions done by this guy in Atlanta, and his Breast reconstructions are amazing. I mean, they're jack worthy. Really good for her. She's yeah. alive She's after stage business. four breast cancer. What's that? She's alive after stage four. Oh yeah, yeah, that's yeah. pretty good. And that's what they do. When, uh, is they tattoo the nipples on right with this when they take the right. the breasts off with the cancer and all that stuff. Right. They'll uh, they put the the uh, uh, expanders in. And they fill them up a little bit at a time, and it's apparently very painful as you're stretching that skin. And then uh, when the, when they get uh, a large enough potential space in there, they'll put an implant in. Wow. And then the last thing that they'll do is, uh, you know, make the nipple and the areola. But this guy uses some sort of flap where he takes muscle from the back and rotates it forward. And uh, his um, his results are really, really amazing. I mean, it looks like real breasts. Hmm. Okay. Nice. We're learning a lot. So the three-breasted woman, they swear they saw this uh, device. Maybe she was going with the device and then said, you know what? Fuck this. I'm going to go. I'm going to do it for I'm real. I'm going to do it for real. So I think both could be real. Because they, they have a police report that they found this thing in her luggage that made it look like she had three breasts. But then maybe she's like, all right, I'm going to do this for real now. Well, she should release like a 30-second clip of the video of right. the surgery then. And say, I'm still doing a reality show here right. to prove it. Yeah, give us so a little, when she does that, give us a little taste. Yeah. You know, let her be playing Frisbee golf first. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's the MTV documentary going to call? Bitch with three titties. Aw, shit. <laughs> That's a great name for it. Aw, shit. Anything else, Dr. Steve? No, I got that's it. Weird Medicine Saturday nights at 10 p.m. Eastern. Okay, thank you. Always a pleasure, sir. Thanks. And on the Riotcast Network with the great Jim Florentine. Well. Yes, I always listen to Steve's show driving home from gigs. It's a good Likewise. show. Saturday night, yeah, it's great. Very good show. Very informative. All right, All right yeah. Dr. Steve, I want to I want to try to give you an hour on on you know our channel to you know talk to people <laughs> and their their medical problems. We got to figure that out. You mean to? Uh, well, I'm doing an hour now, but you mean doing it live? Yeah, I know well, I'd love to do that. I, I know you're doing it, but I mean during the week, a little more prime time, and you know, okay. yeah, prime time, baby. I'm open to anything, man. I really appreciate it. I'll get with Don uh, Wicklin and try to figure that out. We'll do okay. a little ISDN line. You can see the phones coming in, and you, you talk to these people for an hour with their issues. That'd be great. That'd be a great lesson. Awesome. I have a document that opens on my computer at home, and I can see who the callers are. They have it figured out perfectly. How great is yeah. that? It's so amazing. Let's, let's do that with Dr. Steve. You know, an hour a week. You call in with what's, uh, what's ailing you, and Dr. Steve will uh, try to help you out a little bit. Yep. I'm in. And then maybe we throw a comic in there and make it a little funny. Be nice. <laughs> nice yeah. for everyone. I'd be happy to do it. That would be fantastic. Would you want Chip to do it with you? Yeah, absolutely. I'd fuck. I'd help out everybody. I think the first show should be Chip <laughs> and Doctor Steve. Fuck yeah, Chip. You ever play frisbee golf? Fuck yeah, it's cool. Bunch Why? of chicks. Fucking. There's chicks. Yeah, there's a lot of chicks. So you yeah. can get laid playing frisbee golf. Yep. 
<laughs> yeah. Where are these chicks? Yeah. Are they playing too, or are they just wandering around? Uh -huh. <laughs> he never gives details. No, and what you'll learn is this: when you when you give Chip the floor, he yeah. doesn't handle it. Well. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> Panics. I kind of know by now. <laughs> I kind of know. Uh, whoa! All right, hold on. Let, oh, let's oh, go yeah. with Tony in Indiana. Stay on the line, Doc. Tony. Okay. Tony. Oh, Welcome Ernie. aboard, Tony. Yeah, it works. Huh? <laughs> it's actually Ernie, but that works. Tony. Oh, okay. Ernie. Sorry. What's up, Ernie? I was just going to crack out of you guys this morning because it got me back to a memory from like uh, about 25 years ago. <laughs> I was working and uh, I started dating this, uh, this Puerto Rican girl and, uh, you know, turned into taking a shirt off one night and she had, <laughs> she had the same color skin all the way through, man. There were no areolas there. And for the past 25 years, I swear to God, I've thought that that, that nationality just didn't have Ariel. It's the strangest thing. I only came <laughs> upon it once, and it was a Jewish girl from Long Island. She, and this was she, a, she had big ones, really? too. But uh, when, it was like, what the hell's going on? You said a lot of ones that have I've the I've stayed big. away from huh? uh, <laughs> that color skin there all my whole life just for that reason. I was like, yeah. I can't deal with it. She was Spanish? Uh, I mean, Puerto Rican, I don't know what you would... A Puerto Rican girl right that now, doesn't you know. have, like, areolas? The other and... ones that usually have the big ones. Right. I mean, she has nipples. And very defined, ones. too. What are you talking about? Yeah, it's just some natural variation. In natural the variation in, this, in the pigment. <laughs> I had a uh, girlfriend once had the greatest tits I've ever seen in my life. and uh, But she had a... Two supernumerary nipples right next to the other nipple. So that doesn't make it the greatest tits. What are in your life? life? What that's are a, supernumerary? That's the problem. That's, no, it's, 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 to look at them, they were. If you got three nipples huge. on one breast, that doesn't make it the greatest tits no, I've seen in my awful. life. That was that was that ruined it. That's oh, what I'm all saying. Right. All right. Yeah. All and right. so you'd be in there sucking on it, and then there you'd get this other nipple in your mouth, and it was just bizarre. Steve, it she seems like you've one that took a dump and then had me go down on her afterward, and that was horrendous. Wait a minute, really? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What <Okay>. happened? <laughs> Walk us through I, this. I was uh, I was going to the Y, so to speak, and then she gets up, says, "Oh, I got to go to the bathroom for a second. I just figured she had to go pee or something, and then she came back and went proceed. And uh, so I went back down and was going at it, and I got this wafting smell in my nose. And I realized she'd just taken a big <laughs> giant bump. <laughs> and uh, but her needs came before my uh, my sensibilities. Like so she she came out of the bathroom and said, "Proceed." Laid back down. <laughs> you know her asshole was still down, open. Proceed. <laughs> so this was a long time ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so that, that, nobody used baby wipes back then, so it was definitely... No, 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 no. And it was really one of those fruity, you know, smelly shits. It was just awful. Oh, my God. So you could smell an asshole? What? Say what? You could smell it on her or just in the bathroom? No, no when he went back down. Up from, uh, my nose was right down there. It was coming up from her asshole. And she let you go down on her after a shift? Oh, yeah. oh, Good girl. Yeah. So, <laughs> how long did you stay down there? Did you stop halfway through? No, or? hell no. I just went on. And Plow right ahead. Oh, You're like trooper, driving, yeah. just like on the West Shore Expressway. You just right. got to get to your destination. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. But anyway. Wow. A uh, guy has a question about in inverted nipples. You, okay. want, you want to take this call real fast? Sure. All right. Let's say hi to Greg in Boston. Greg. What do you say, fellas? Hey. Dr. Steve, got a question for you. Uh, what the heck are inverted nipples? I've always been too embarrassed to ask my wife what that really meant. Ew, we her nipples are inverted? It, it, and we weren't able to truly breastfeed uh, because right. of that. Oh, yuck. Nipple. Can't you uh, suck them out? Why'd you marry her? <laughs> <laughs> Well, hey, that's a conversation for another show. That's why you got to test drive this shit. Exactly. <laughs> well, yeah, there are some women whose in, uh, nipples are inverted, just like some people have, uh, you know, uh, inverted belly buttons, and some people have innies, and, or some people have outies. They're, and baby a, penises. It's a natural variation. It is very difficult for those some of those women to breastfeed. There are ways that you can get around it, though. There's a... Uh, there's a, a a little sort of uh, prosthetic nipple that you can put on a woman's breast 
uh, so that the baby can breastfeed, even if they have. Oh birth. God! And, and you can't <laughs> suck it right out. Yeah, I mean, no, you the can baby a little can, bit, but it doesn't really. Yeah. And, uh, you know, she's never pinging. You know, like most other women. All right. There yeah, you go. Right. You got to get the Thanks, prosthetic, Alex. I guess, so you can suck away. <laughs> uh, it's a little. It's a hard. It's sort of a a, a hard rubber nipple looking thing, and they place it over the areola, and then the baby can suck on that. And what it'll do is it'll suck out the the nipple, and they can get milk that way. But and even that what? doesn't always work with every woman with inverted nipple. What, what what's your sucking technique? People mine. Yeah, people want to know. Do you go? Then nobody wants to know. No, a lot of people call yes. and say they want to know your sucking your, technique. They want to yeah. know your sucking technique. I'm sure just talking into the mic. I'm sure you're very. <laughs> I'm sure you're very clinical about do it. <laughs> do you try to get half the breast in your mouth? No, no, no. What do you do? Little, little, little light tooth action. Little, uh, little light uh, tongue action, and then just you know, suck away. Well, I mean, I, it's give, it, give us the noise you make. Is it like? Oh, <laughs> okay. oh. Jimmy will uh, Jimmy will I'm, do Jimmy will do his noise just so you feel comfortable and then we want to hear your noise. Oh, uh, that won't make me feel anymore. No, no, it'll, it'll make you feel no. comfortable. Hold, calm me down. I hold the breast in my hand with both of my hands and I open my eyes really wide and I go <laughs> <laughs> and I make baby faces. See? Aren't you more comfortable now to talk about it? <laughs> What's your noise? You're a doctor. What's wrong with you? Exactly. What is wrong with you? Uh, oh, what's the right, what's two different? Work. Well, there's a question that comes in a lot. I, I think I know the answer because of you, but this guy asks, uh, what's the deal with two different size breasts on women? I hear yeah. one is closer to the heart, and that's what makes it bigger. Damn, that's actually a pretty good hypothesis. But uh, I, I think it's... I thought uh, I heard it from you. There's more blood flow or something. Nah, that wasn't for me. No. I just, I, I, you know, why does one testicle hang lower? Why are we right-handed and left-handed? Some women are just right-boobed, I guess. Oh, Dr. Steve has a testicle that hangs a lot lower than the other one. Yep. Well, I got yeah, one I ball that's bigger. Little My left ball's bigger than the right. Really? Yeah. Have you got that checked out? No. No, I've had him my whole life. Yeah, it fills out my package nice. I'm not going to fuck with that. Steve? Hey, Steve, is that unhealthy for, uh, like, a stripper used to come around and squirt uh, breast milk in my friend's mouth when we were at a strip club? Is that unhealthy for them to drink it because they did? No, not really. I mean, it shouldn't be. Assuming that she's not infected with something, uh, you know, breast milk is sterile. It's uh, good for you. It's tasty. No, Tasty, uh, really. Tell us more, Doctor Steve. Sure, you can make. We were going to make breast milk flan and feed it to our friends. Flan is terrible. Let me tell you something. It's a terrible treat. <laughs> but, one but of it's the, easy to make out of breast milk, though. One of the dumbest slash craziest things I've done on this radio show was I tried uh, breast milk ice cream. It was uh, Pat Duffy's uh, sister. Oh. She came in with the the breast milk, and we actually made ice cream, but oh. vanilla ice cream. And I I did try it oh. and. It tasted like amazing ice cream, and then the aftertaste made me fucking hurl. It, t it, it tasted like uh, like uh, body, like fucking armpit odor. Really? It was horrendous, the aftertaste. It was brutal. That could have had something to do with what she ate when she expressed that milk, too. And you just knew it was a foreign substance that should not be in your mouth. Yeah. yeah. She was, My was, niece was uh, like a freak. <sighs> and Tell uh, me about she, it. W when she breastfed, uh, she would, you know, pump afterward. And we went to see her when we were going to have our baby because, you know, we didn't know what we were doing. And she was giving us some clothes and stuff. And her husband said, show them, show them. You know what I'm talking about. And they had this double freezer that was, you know, a regular freezer, but it was stand up and double and which she opened it up and the whole thing was completely full of frozen breast milk there had to be 200 gallons in there why i don't know she just was made a lot of milk and uh they ended up donating it to some place and some feeding fetish somebody. fucking porn company we we froze some breast milk just because we needed it. And oh, then, we had little tiny and then to, packets to, of And then you would, you know, maybe you would defrost it and then, uh, uh, and then put it in baby bottles. It just, uh, there was something just wrong about that. Yeah. When my wife was breastfeeding, I tried, my father-in-law was over and he wanted the half and half, and I handed him a bottle of it. 
I really? thought he was going to put it in his coffee. He's like, you bastard. <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's coming from your daughter. It's it's kept, it's in the family. He almost put it in his coffee. You would have never told him either. No, right? definitely not. I would, have, I, would have, I would have been snapping away, taking pictures of him as he drank it. That's beautiful. I love the stories of Florentine fucking with his father-in-law. Oh, they're the best. <laughs> we got to get him on the show. Uh, so why is one breast bigger than the other? Don't know, just natural variation. Oh, I don't have a, uh, a good answer for that. I'll research it and get back to you. Of course you will. Let's say hi to Aaron in New Mexico. Aaron. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. Hey, um, Dr. Steve, quick question for you. Um, uh, ever since I was about 13 years old and I started, you know, seeing my boner and everything, I've noticed that it kind of curves down, you know, like at an arch. Yeah. And it's always, it still does that. It's always, It still does that. I mean, I've never had complaints. I mean, my wife, when we first started having sex, said it took a little while to get used to. She, she likes it because it slides down her throat better. But uh, well, why is that, you think? Well, um, m most men's erect members will curve to a certain degree, some more than others. And the, the thing with your wife is she, she needs to be happy or glad that this happens because she's actually getting three points of contact. Yeah. She gets the tip that's pointing down and the middle that's pointing up and then the base that's pointing down. That's right. You're rubbing the floor of her asshole when you have sex with her. <laughs> so it's, like, it's like simulating a larger penis. She's getting a better experience. <laughs> Dr. Steve goes right I love it. Right. She loves it. Hey, yeah, Opie. Then, yeah. Um, but and then that? an extreme curve is oh. called Peroni's disease, and that's caused by a pathologic, oh. uh, mm. uh, usually a fracture of the penis that uh, oh. heals and scars. And then those guys will get a penis that will curve like the letter L sometimes. Oh, oh no, no, no! I th I think I think mine did because like in gym class, it's so funny how you guys talked about the lesbian gym teachers because I did have that as well. And I and when I was like in sixth grade, I used to think about my lesbian gym teacher making out with you know whatever and i used to get boners in sixth grade and this was like you know late 80s so you sure. had to wear those short short shorts still so i'd push my boner down you know like because i didn't want to be embarrassed you know i had a boner in gym class so i'd push it down so i kind of think it i trained it to do that in, a, in weird, some weird subconscious way you know i never pushed push it down, it down. i always like kind of strapped it up no, I always push it up. You, try, you can't push it down. Absolutely, you can tuck it down between your yeah, in, between your legs. Painful, though. But you might want it, if you it, don't want it, if you want to hide one. True. It, it, I would just pop it out the side of my I'll, shorts. I would move it right in the middle and make it not as noticeable. I guess. No, let it pop right out and then just teach class like nothing's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Get it. Hey, 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 Opie! I can't believe I'm fucking asking this dude, but fuck it, I'm just gonna throw it out there. Since you're offering Doctor Steve to put you know his podcast on your 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 stage no. in there, you know, once a week. Just can you put mine on there once a week? You know, just. <laughs> oh, no. oh no! Let's say hi to. I'll be, uh... <laughs> what happened? It might be good. <laughs> what happened? All right, send it in, and I, I'll just throw it on the air. Fuck it, send it in. We'll throw it on. I'm serious. We'll just throw it on. I don't even need to listen to it. Uh, go ahead, Tom in Tennessee. Send it in. <laughs> just send it in. Hey, yeah. uh, Dr. C. All right, so my wife has six nipples. She has very nice breasts. She's a dog. Right. She's a cow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cat route. But, uh, yeah, as, as, I, as we dated and then I explored her body, there were, like, moles. But they were too perfectly placed. And, and then I right. realized that she has extra nipples. What the fuck yep. is that about? No, they're called supernumerary nipples. And it's just sort of a, uh, uh, a, a, a genetic... It's not even an Deformity. abnormality. If you look at, at other mammals, they have extra nipples, like dogs or cats. And humans have that potential to do that as well. But uh, most of us just have two. But every once in a while, you'll get somebody that will, um, you know, their genetic makeup is such that they'll uh, throw in uh, sometimes two, sometimes one. I've got a friend who has one supernumerary nipple. And then uh, your wife has just got the, the, the full complement of nipples. Uh, yeah, it's fucking cool. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, does, does she have any sensation with the other one? 
Nah, I tried. You know, they're really small, and I try to fuck with them, but there's nothing there, so yeah. I just leave them alone. How many vaginas does she have? Exactly. <laughs> Four. <laughs> Four. <laughs> fucking lick her nipples like a xylophone. That's creepy. <laughs> yeah, fucking 30 clips on her back. Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, one more. Then we got, yeah, one more. We got to move on after the Jimmy in Jersey. Jimmy. Yeah. What's going on, boys? Hey. Now, you guys, since we're talking about misshaped dicks, have you ever heard of Jerker's Curve? Jerker's Curve? What, what do you got on that, Dr. Steve? Uh, I, I, I think that may be mythological. Um, I, I don't know that that jerking can actually cause um, a, uh, a a curvature in the in the pen in the erect penis over time. Although, right, because you're kind of if you're right handed, you're kind of pulling to the right. If you're right handed, you, you know, you tend to have a left sided curve. So uh, I don't know that anybody's ever proved that. I mean, how would you prove that? That that's the problem. Time you know, I like photography to, and sucking a lot of dicks. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I like to look at I, at uh, data, and if there is a uh, is he? <laughs> a correlation between right-handed um, uh, jerking and left-handed curves, then you know there may be something there. I'll look into it. All right, I think we I mean, just, if that's what he's asking about. Yeah, we just kind of gave you a tryout. And this is this is the show. I want you to take yeah. these questions, and then we get a comic in here to kind of. If know. there was if there was yeah. jerk if there was jerker's curve, Jim Norton would have it without a doubt. Yeah. His dick would look like a, a snake sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Do you go a day without jerking off? Yeah. No. No. Not really. I mean, I tug it a little. I, I go a lot of days not coming, but I always tug it a little every day. So, yeah, just to get the skin good. Even when you have a girlfriend. Especially when I have a girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah, maybe no. <laughs> Go fuck. Wait till you hit sixty. I'm down to about three times a week. You're sixty. Yeah, well, I'm, yeah, I'm fifty nine. I'm almost. 60. I'm fifty seven. Wow, you look good, Doctor Steve. Good for you. <laughs> Thank you. Still getting friend. the job done. Yeah, I'm still getting the job done. Yeah, without any help, you know what I mean. Without any of those pills. Well, you know, the pills are great. If and the the nice thing about them is, if you don't need the help, it really gives you a nice meaty. Uh, erection. Yuck. Ah, Dr. Steve gets nice meaty erections. <laughs> <laughs> but I bet he says, calls him that in bed, too. You like my meaty erection. Like my meaty erection. I can't remember which comic said it, but it looks like a ballpark Frank in the microwave when you, you, when you use Viagra and you don't need it. Um, I don't know. Judy Gold? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I got to piss. Yeah, we got to take a break. Tom we got Sizemore Tom Sizemore coming in. So last time it got a little intense in here. We'll see yeah. what happens today. He's our good All right, boys. Mr. Fun. Tom Sizemore. Uh, Dr. Steve, Riotcast.com for his podcast. And, of course, he's heard on this channel as well. And hopefully soon uh, during the week we'll give you an hour or two to just take calls and fool around and uh, yeah. help people awesome. out. And, I would love it. And we'll Thank get some you. comics to help you out to get some jokes in there as well. We'll figure it yeah, out. Man. Thanks, Dr. Right. Steve. Always uh, yeah. always a pleasure. You're a good egg. You're a good Thanks, egg. Boys. All right. Tom Sizemore next. Uh, stay there.